Trini Girl Natural. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be coming on to review Baskin Bloom. Let's get started with product review, right? So yeah. So the first one we have is the Gentle Herbal Cleanser. So usually I see something that says it's gentle, I'm like, yeah, right, I will say that. And when you put it on your hair, you're like screaming, help, save me, save me, because it's like stripping your hair. But this was actually gentle. So I didn't go shy on it. I put a lot because I wanted to make sure that I really put it to the test in terms of how moisturizing it is. And it definitely added moisture. My hair was soft and moisturized after. I could still see my curl definition. My hair wasn't stripped. My hair felt very clean and everything. So this is definitely a winner, definitely repurchasing. These are the ingredients. And it was a really interesting ingredients list. Rasso clay, which you know people also use for cleansing and kind of conditioning as well. So a yucca is a natural surfactant. I want to buy some plain yucca and just kind of DIY it. I'm trying to think if I did or not because I know I bought something. But I think I bought soap nuts. So I want to buy yucca. But that's part of why I got this because I have clay and yucca. So two kind of natural cleansers. It has peppermint, which I did feel, but it wasn't overpowering at all. It was just nice. I know one of my friends is coconut oil sensitive or whatever, and she loves this. So you can still potentially risk it even if you don't typically like coconut oil. So what was interesting about this shampoo too is that it wasn't the usual light color shampoo. It was actually kind of dark. So I was like, okay then. <laughs> So it was interesting. I kind of like it. It made it more exotic, I guess. I'm not even sure why it's dark like this. I mean, I know it has the clay and stuff, but maybe I think it's probably some of the extracts that kind of give it this color. But that was interesting to see. And it did give me a good lather. Again, you can look at my wash day video to kind of see exactly how these products perform. So if you are a shampoo girl and you want a good lather and a strong cleanse, then with strong and gentle, then definitely give this a shot. I really loved it. Love, love, love. Moisture, clean, soft, moisturized, curl still popping. Double thumbs up, this was a go. Definitely check out my wash day video to see my reaction and just how much I love this shampoo. Okay, I was like, and then I had to get myself happier. I, I had to figure out how to get happier. <laughs> as much as I love this and I love this, I love this even more. The Brammy Root Hair Mask. The cleanser was great, of course, but it was a cleanser. So my hair felt conditioned, but it didn't feel like out of this world. But this left my hair feeling out of this world, moisturized, hydrated, soft, curls were popping, defined, conditioned, deep conditioned, everything. And it was one of those instant workers. So as soon as I put it on, it felt great. Now it felt even better after I let it sit, but it gave me the immediate results which I like in a really good deep conditioner. After I rinsed this out, I can still just put my hands through my hair. My hair was super soft, detangled, moisturized, hydrated and everything. So definitely a winner. I'm definitely repurchasing a bunch of these for Black Friday. These are the ingredients. So I always like when something has wheat germ oil in it, especially in the summer, because it adds some SPF. And it's also just really good for your hair. And of course, you know, castor oil and avocado oil are both really good for your hair. My hair loves avocado oil. It makes my hair really soft and really helps with the moisture. So it's good to see that in here. Of course, raw honey is in here. And you know how my hair feels about honey or any humectant. So once I saw the honey, I was like not even worried. I know this was going to be great. And it was great. It has a little bit of hydrolyzed wheat protein at the very end. But it's definitely more moisturizing than a protein treatment. This gave me so much moisture. So... I'm so happy. I'm still happy about this. They all have that same slight herbal scent, so I like it. It's maybe your favorite exotic tea or something. Not black or green, but something fancy. I guess you could say that's probably what it smells like, but it's not strong. It's a very light, fresh, clean, slightly herbal, slightly floral, slightly sweet scent. This is the deep conditioner. It's really thick, but it melts into your hair. And it has a kind of interesting whipped kind of texture. So, I guess I'll put on a little more for you. Yeah. I don't know. I really liked it. It really penetrated instantly and everything into my hair. So, you can see it's penetrating pretty well, pretty instantly there as well. And my hands feel nice now. <laughs> and next up, we have the Ease Moisturizing Leave In Conditioner. And here are the ingredients. 
So you can see the ingredients are really good. It has the orange peel which I like and the hibiscus which I like because that's also good for like curl definition. Both are good for pH balancing and curl definition. Of course aloe vera juice is always good. Well, I like the flaxseed oil. I like all of the oils mentioned. It has some bamboo extract which I guess is a little bit of protein. And some guar gum which should give it a little definition. Some sea kale. It has a rich creamy... Like look at this. I wish I had some more of the old one to tell you, but this does seem a little thicker. So if you like thicker leave-ins, you probably like this even better. I like mine a little more runny, but it was fine after I just added water. And I think it'll be fine if I did it on soaking right here. I'll definitely recommend it. I think for anybody, anybody looking for a moisturizing leave-in with great ingredients. The leave-in definitely did the job. My hair was moisturized. My curls were defined. I did have to kind of add a little bit of water. I think I might like the original version better, but I don't hate this at all. This really did a job. So next up, I have the Silky Aloe Curl Pudding. And one of my friends really loved this and raved about it and told me about it. Truly Natural Me on Instagram. So here are the ingredients. And this product is really kind of light. Like when I picked it up, I was like worried for a second it was empty because it felt so light. But when I opened it, it definitely had stuff. It was pretty much full to the top. I can't even push really, really push in there. It's kind of pushing back. It's really solid. It's whipped, so it's not heavy physically, but it's really dense. As you can see, it's like a really good sealant. So it's very kind of creamy and buttery. I would almost call it waxy, although I don't think there's any wax in here. So I think this is really great for like people with higher porosity. Me with me and my low porosity self, it wasn't probably for me. I didn't hate it, but it just felt really thick on my hair. And I'm not used to using such like dense products on my hair. I like that it has aloe vera gel first, both to give it a little bit of water. And of course, moisture and definition. Last but not least, definitely not least, we have the twirly hair gel. So these are the ingredients. I'm not really talking about the scents because everything smells really similar. That herbal flurry light scent, sweet slightly sweet scent. You can see I have the gel in my hair now. You can see my curls. It is defined, but there is some frizz. It is light and fluffy. It's not gonna be like Eco Style gel, which is like heavy and whatever. It's gonna be like la la. You know, it's gonna be like that, like light and fluffy and happy. So if that's the kind of wash and go you want, definitely give this a try. I would even say this is a medium to firm hole, like I wouldn't even call it a soft hole. Like there's no crunch, but it's definitely holding my curls in place. And if it's doing that in this humidity, then I know, you know, that it's a real life gel. I'm definitely happy with my hair. <laughs> so this is the texture of the gel. It is, I wouldn't say it's runny, but you know, it's not super thick. You can see the whole thing running down. It's not slimy at all, really. Let's see if you can see that. So it's a tad, tad, tad bit slimy, but it's really not that slimy. And it's really soft, you know. So you would think I would just give you a light hole and not even do anything. So I'm really happy with just the amount of hole and moisture and everything and definition it gave me because it really did do a good job, especially considering how light the product is. So I think you really can't go wrong if you're not a PJ and you just want one line because it has a great cleanser, has a great deep conditioner, a great leave-in, a great twisting butter and a, and a great gel. So you're pretty much all set really. Throughout the year she has like 30 to 33 percent off sales. Black Friday I think you might get 40 percent off. I'm definitely going to stock up next Black Friday. I may not need cleansers because a little goes a long way with the cleanser like I barely touched it and I used a lot but I'll definitely get some more deep conditioners and gel. The ingredients on all of her products are really good and she uses a lot of Ayurvedic herbs and stuff like that so if you're just looking for a really healthy, really clean, really top quality brand then this is definitely one to try. So let me know if you use Basket Bloom or which are some of the other small businesses that you buy from. Of course this is like black owned, woman owned, black woman owned and I really enjoy supporting each other and I also just enjoy buying products from small businesses because you develop more of a relationship or friendship or you just know more about the person that's actually selling your products and actually making your products. Thanks so much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!